So the next kits to put up are the two Angel Vine kits. So they are the Angel Vine Trio kit and the Angel Vine kit. Now, Angel Vine is a brilliant houseplant. So this is for indoors mainly. They can be kept outdoors um, during the warmer months, um, but they are not happy with cold climate. So they do not like frost um, and really cold weather. So if it's gonna be really cold, they need to be inside. Um, but they can be kept outdoors if you want them to be. So if you wanted to use the trio for a, for a tablescape outdoors, um, but then you also want to bring it in, you know, if you've had friends around and they've gone and then you want to bring it back in to enjoy in your home, then that's absolutely fine. So you can take it in and out as long as there's no sort of real extreme temperature shocks, um, which in our climate we don't, we don't really have. So uh, yes, an indoor and an outdoor kit. So we have the trio and the kit on its own, which is in a slightly larger angel vine um, in a slightly larger pot. But first of all, I'm going to show you the trio. Now the pots in this trio we did with the Blue Muscari, yes, Blue Muscari, a couple of months ago. Um, they sold out, sold out so quickly, you loved them. They are adorable. They are an eight and a half centimetre kit, uh, pot, sorry. Um, with this lovely kind of simple scalloped edging, um, gorgeous little saucers. These are my own, so they're all muddy, um, but they are really, really lovely kits. Um, I keep mine, if I'm not using them, on my beam above my log burner, and I think they just look lovely, even if they're not potted up. So yeah, a lovely, lovely kit to have. So let's start potting this one up, and then we'll go on to the bigger one next. So in your kit, you will have your gravel. So just a little bit in each pot, just to give the plant some drainage so that the roots aren't sat in um, sort of water for a prolonged period of time, which they don't like. It can lead to root rot. And then adding in just a little bit of compost to the bottom of the pot and then sort of gently pushing it down. And I'm just gonna check. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so I will bore you again with the plastic plant pot in the pot with the compost around the edge. Um, so you may have seen it in my other um, tutorial videos, but if you haven't, you basically take the plant out of the plastic pot and you put the plastic pot in the plant pot. You then, Add your compost around the edge of your plastic pot. This gives an easy, well, it's an easy way to pot up so that you've got the right shape and size hole for your plant in a nutshell. It is rock and roll here. So I've literally just put the plastic plant pot in and then filled the edge with compost. I'll show you how it looks in a sec. Now I can't decide if this technique is messier but easier or if I'm just always messy, can't decide. Okay, so there you have it. So what you've got is your plastic plant, plastic plant pot in the terracotta pot with the compost around. There is some compost in your plant pot, but that doesn't matter. And then all you need to do is lift gently that plastic plant pot out and you're left with a hole that's the right size and shape or your angel vine, and that just simply, oh no, that didn't work, simply goes in like that. And then you can just gently compress it down a little bit. And that's it. So I'll just do the other two now. But yeah, feel free to let me know if you are bored of hearing about this, this technique. 
and next time I'll just do it without really explaining how brilliant I think it is. And the last one. Okay. So angel vine, obviously. The name gives it away. It's a vine, like a vine house plant, and you don't really need to do anything to it unless you want to keep it neat. In, in which case, you can um, sort of trim, trim it down a bit if you want to. If it's getting a little bit too wild, um, but for me personally, that's part of the beauty of it. Um, it's a great training plant. So if you had um, your pots up on a shelf, um, then eventually the um the vines will start to trail down which just looks so lovely um it is one of my favorites for indoors okay so those are all planted up and now i can add the moss um i didn't water my angel vines before planting them up they feel a little bit dry so if you have done the same thing as me and not watered your plants before potting them up, even though that is what I tell you to do. So I'm not practicing what I preach here. I would, uh, I would, if I was say, not filming and I could get to my sink, I would water them now and then put the compost on top. So imagine I've watered them. I'm now gonna add the compost. So we've got bun moss, which is the greener, sort of chunkier moss. We have sphagnum moss, which is the two-tone moss and then flat moss, which is the sort of woodlandy um, looking moss. And that's the one I think I'm going to use the most um, for these. But it's obviously completely up to you which you choose. You can use a bit of all of them. Actually, I might put some sphagnum in this one. So that just sits around the plant where the compost is on show. Again, you don't have to use the moss if you don't want to. If you like the look of how the compost is um, sort of contrasting against the green, I, I understand that, I get that. Um, you don't have to use the moss if you don't want to. And then the last one. But in terms of caring for angel vine, they like to be kept damp, um, not waterlogged. So if you've got, if you've watered and there's lots of water left in the sources, it's probably a, a wise move to um, empty the water out so that they're not sat in water for a prolonged period of time. So that's your trio potted up. And then now I'm going to move on to the angel vine kit which comes in this gorgeous ribbed bird spotter pot so it's basically the same thing they're exactly the same um, plant it's just that the trio has a slightly larger leaf um, than the sort of more of a trailing um, angel vine for the kit on its own so adding our gravel and then a small amount of compost to the bottom. Push that down gently. And then after watering your angel vine, gently take it out of its plastic pot. 
I'm just going to check I've got enough compost in there. I think so. I might put a little bit more in. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So just adding more compost in now around the plastic pot as we've just done. You won't need a lot of compost. In fact, if you receive your angel vine if in this kit and it's a slightly bigger pot, you won't need any compost. You'll just need to push it into its pot because the plant pot will be a 12 centimetre pot and the terracotta pot is also 12 centimetres, but they come in 11 centimetres and 12 centimetres. So it just depends which ones we get in, um, but I will make sure you have compost either way, just so that you don't need to worry. So you will have compost if you need it. Okay. So then the angel vine goes in, push that down into the compost that's surrounding it. Just a bit more around there. And then, we can add in the moss. I just love how it just falls over the side of the pot. If, oh, worth noting, if you see some sort of slightly yellower leaves, they are much like the geranium, just because they've not got enough sunlight. So you can just pick those ones off. There's nothing wrong with the plant if you've got yellow leaves near the base. Um, that's normal, you can just take them off. They might even fall off actually like that one's just done. And um, it just means that they are being shaded by the other leaves that are healthier um, and they, they're not getting enough sunlight. So you just need to take them off or you can leave them on, doesn't matter. But what I mean is it doesn't mean your plant's dying. So then adding in your, comp uh, your moss. So again, I've gone with some flat moss there. And then I'm gonna pop some sphagnum moss around there. And that's about it. So just to recap, um, keep them damp but not waterlogged, um, keep them in a nice sunny spot, trim them if you want to, if they're going a bit wild you can trim them, but apart from that they are a really easy plant to look after um, and a really great house plant, so yeah I hope you enjoy your angel vine. <laughs>